right, you guys, get ready. Today is a leg workout. We're gonna be using a glute loop or mini band, whatever you wanna call it, some weights. And if you have a bench, bring it out, but no worries, if you don't have a bench, it totally works. We're gonna be hitting those legs, hitting the glutes, 30 seconds of work with a 15 second transition. Some of them you're gonna see done twice, some will be done three times. So if you're ready for this, give me a thumbs up and do make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss any workout. Put your glute loop on or your mini band just above the knees and we're getting ourselves ready to warm up. We got Anna back here for today's workout, yay! So energy is gonna be sky high. So let's have ourselves ready for squats here. So as you squat down, I want you to feel like you're pressing slightly out on that glute loop or mini band, whatever you wanna call it. And if you do not have one, totally just use your body. You don't need it for today's workout. But I would say you wanna get a band. Link is in, in the description box. Definitely helps me out if you click that link and you purchase it right through there. All right, we're gonna squat with a rear leg lift. So squat, right leg goes behind, and then squat, left leg. So we're gonna start to warm up the glute. So we have the quads activated, glutes activated. And if you need to take your time, take your time. And we know Anna will take, she will take her time, that's okay. That's why we love having you here. All right, we're gonna just take it for a lateral lift. So all you gotta do is just find some balance, just a small lateral lift. We'll spend just 15 seconds on this side. Roll your shoulders back, zip up your core. Switch to the other side, kind of shift over. So today's workout, we're really gonna burn up the quads, work on the glutes, work on those outer hips. All right, we're gonna take two walks over here and then take it back again. We're gonna make one more trip in each direction and then monster walk. So make sure you have space, walk it forward and walk it back, keeping the legs pressing outward heel toe and come on back just a few more seconds and we should be warmed up all right great job now I'm gonna give you an option you can either keep the glute loop on or get rid of it for your squats so squats are happening you're gonna go for heavy what do you got behind me Anna uh, 120 right now just a 20 well I'm doing 212s She's got tens, what do you have? We're gonna drop that butt down. Here we go, 30 seconds of squats. You can load at the top, at the bottom, behind the head, on the neck. So in that squat, I want you to push the butt back, press through the heels, and take your time. We do have three sets of squats. In between, you can break or I'm gonna hold. Here comes that time. You can either stop or hold. I'm gonna stay down here. I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna press those knees slightly out. Brace the core, keep the chin up, rise up. Round two, drop that butt and press through the heels to come up. If you have lighter weights today, you could do half range and keep that tension in that lower part of that squat. Keep those eyes lifted. Doing okay back here? All right, again, here's your option. Stay or come out of it. All right, another option too, you can hang the weight low. I'm gonna stay here. Come on out of it. Round three. All right, now I'm gonna start prepping you for the next movement. It will be a lunge. Now, Anna and I are gonna do Bulgarian lunges. You do not need the band, and the option is to use weight or not. 
Carol's gonna just do that back lunge. And the right leg is gonna be on the floor. Left leg is on the bench. All right, no band. We're getting ready for that lunge. You got 10 seconds to get there. My real right leg is gonna be forward. My left leg is on my bench. Carol, you got your right leg forward, left leg back, Bulgarian lunge, or just a back lunge. Get a good range of motion here. Remember, in that leg lunge, we wanna drop and get that knee almost to 90. Ooh, all right. And we're gonna stay with this right leg for two rounds. So drop as low as you can, get your chin up. And I'm gonna give you that option, all right? You can either take a break or I'm gonna go on to beast mode and I'm gonna hold. Yeah, Woo! I'm gonna bring it today. <laughs> I'm gonna come out. We're ready for round two, same leg, drop and push. Again, you can determine where you want the weight. It can hang low, it can be up at the shoulders. Always feels different when you put it into a different place here. Come on, lift and lengthen. Really drop. And push away through the heel. Getting ready to transition. Okay. Switch that leg, shake it out. Okay, get in position here. If you need to put your foot up on that bench, grab your weights, get ready to push, drop and press away. Now, if you do have limited range of motion, that is your body talking to you, telling you, girl, if you need to do some stretching, or guy, because you're gonna limit yourself. So if you do need to drop that weight, drop the weight. So you can give me that good range and we can have a change going on in those legs. All right, you determine either stop or stay. Strength and stillness sometimes, right? Woo. I'm gonna come out of it. Round two happening. Here we go. Yeah. But it's a great day for us today. Overcast, a little breeze. <laughs> I feel like I'm like my dad, the farmer. It's all about the weather. When you have to be outside. All right, come on, push through this 10 seconds. Then you're gonna get that band on, girl, right? Or guys, come on. All right, wait down. Grab your band above the knees. Squat with a side leg lift. We will alternate that. Pull it up. Shoulders back, squat first. Then right leg lifts. And then left. And when you lift, take your time. So you feel everything on the side of that body activate. Another option, flex the foot a little bit. But to knees. Breather, okay? Or you could be here, abduction. You can work every second of this workout with me, right? All right, getting ready. Because you know, I know you. Here we go, squat, let's lift to the left first. And then the right. <laughs> yeah, I, when I taught group fitness, you always had those ladies that were like, come on, give me more, right? But sometimes we don't need the more, right? Sometimes we need to just really hone it in, focus. <laughs> All right, bridge. Anna's gonna be going into a thruster. I'm just gonna hit pause for one second here. We're gonna be on our back looking at the ceiling with a weight. Anna's gonna do what we call thrusters. We start with both feet on the ground, 
We're gonna do one round where we just pulse up and down. And then the second round, will just be right leg, third round, left leg, fourth round, both legs. Band is on. Weight is on your hips if you want it. You are in position because I told you what to do. Aren't you? Is Anna? That's who I'm worried about. Okay. I'm gonna go for my tens. Here we go. Up and down with the hips. And another option, right? I was just thinking about this. I have a step here. I could place my feet up on the step. That'd be another option here. Uphold, then release. Remember, it's only 30 seconds, but now what I want you to do is just hold at the top if you can hold. And then we're gonna just shift over to the right side. I'm gonna get rid of one of my weights, bring it onto my right hip, and then shift a little bit here, pick up the other foot. Are you ready? Down, lift. There you go, Anna. I love the option Anna's got there. And I would, if I was you, Anna, I would look to my thighs, drop your chin down a little bit. And keep the other leg like, almost like it's pressing slightly out here. Pushing that heel a little bit on the inside of that foot that's on the floor. Just hits a little bit more top of the glute. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> All right, switch feet, but keep the hips up. Switch the weight maybe to the other side, or maybe no weight, the other leg is up. Time under tension here. We're ready, drop and lift. So remember, things that make this harder, Anna's definitely doing a harder version. If my legs were up on that bench, that would be a little bit more of a challenge. So this really hits a little bit differently than doing straight leg. When we do bent knee, you get a little bit more butt, the hamstring and butt work. We're gonna hold it, hold it. All right, option to grab both weights. I'm gonna grab them. Back to the first one. Okay, are we ready? Last set. Press it up. I'm gonna give you an option if you wanna come up Push outward on the band, so you can make it feel different. Up, out, and down. Make sure you're holding at the top, and then pressing it out. Woo! Cool. Just the top, last three seconds here. Hold it, because it's a quick transition here. So. Relax, come on to all four. Can you get out of it there, Anna? Woo! Oh, we're gonna be right on those all four, my right knee. Come on, Anna, let's go. We're cheering for you. Side leg lift, like a dog on the fire hydrant. See, everybody at home was clapping for you too. Come on, Anna, right? So abducting with a bent knee, uphold. So I'm gonna give you a little thought behind my craziness here. We did this movement with a straight leg. Now we do it with a bent knee. So we hit different fibers of the gluteal medial. Relax. We're gonna do that same side one more time. Ooh, I'm sweating. Yeah. Hands under shoulders, find a good brace in the core. Can you lift your knee up? Find a little tension and then go for it. How about this time? Don't lower it down as much. If you need to be on your elbows, drop to the elbows, pull your head back, press through your hands. Come on, up and you feel. Oh, I'm feeling it. Woo. Relax. Woo. All right, I'm gonna swing it around to go to the other side here. This is a great compliment to the mini ball workout that we did a couple weeks ago. Shoulders down, brace the core, leg is up. 
Okay, you can start with that bigger movement if you feel like you want that, because then you know you're gonna get into the smaller movement next. Changing your equipment is key to challenging your body here. And if you're doing a lot of at-home workouts, invest in some great equipment here. This stuff is inexpensive. Come on, up hold. All right, you're gonna take a little breather here. Whew. So I'm feeling it right on that pocket on the outside of the hip. How about you guys? Whew. Okay, let's get in position here. Find where you need to be. Get that leg up. Remember, we're gonna make it smaller here. So it's up, a little less down. And again, if you need to, you can always drop to your elbows. Which band did you go for? Like the heavy? Yeah. Oh I my gosh. Oh, Anna's dying there. She went for the heavy band. Oh. I'm like in medium. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, girl. No band. Now you get to take it off. We got lateral lunges. So I'm going to go to my real right leg. <laughs> I just threw my band. My real right leg. So this is the first leg, and I'm just going to lunge. Come back. Grab that weight. To the lunge, then back. So this is my right leg, and that was the first leg that I did in my bridging or in my all fours. So drop, then push away. And again, I would just settle there for a moment, wherever you want the weight. I like the weight up here versus down here. I feel like I get more out of my butt, right? Okay, here's the option, rest, or stay. I'm gonna push back into my heel. Okay, I'm gonna come up. Round two. Here we go. And it should be moderate. This could even be like one dumbbell too. You could have one heavy dumbbell. I gave Anna all my heavy dumbbells today. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> 10 seconds. We're gonna try that hold again before you go to the other side. Can you hold it just for a few seconds? You know, you can try anything different. All right, come out of it. Whew, straddle. Here we go to that other side. I'm gonna go to my real left side. Weight is up. Shift it, then press away. So what helps me here is my toe is slightly turned out to the corner. You can have your toe face forward. Just depends on your hips. Inhale as you drop. Exhale as you push. I feel like I'm a little slower on this side. <laughs> All right, take that option if you want to. And hold it. Different things happen when we do different things, right? You notice that? Come out of it. Here we go, round two. And so, you know, Anna was saying she struggles with the lateral lunges the most. Is it your range of motion? Make sure that I stay proper, like with the form, yeah, and range of motion, yeah. And this one definitely is form. Technique is really important, so you keep your shoulders back, your eyes up. Weight placement is important. If you're hanging it down, you might be hinging too much. Hold it. Woo! All right, get rid of it. Band is back on. I'm gonna give you a moment, okay? Take a moment right here. We're so close to the end of this one. On stomach, the band is gonna be around the calf area. And we're doing a single leg, straight leg lift. Get that band on, and you will be on your stomach. If you don't like to be on your stomach, hey, a stability ball underneath the belly totally works. Okay, this is number eight exercise of nine. Are you ready? We're gonna go here. 15 seconds. I'm gonna face. I'm gonna actually face this way so I don't hit 
right underneath my calves. I'm gonna do my right leg. Have your feet slightly separated so you feel like you're abducting a little. All right, and the right leg is just lifting up and down. Anchor your left leg. And find that little sweet spot where you keep the glute activated. And I'm pointing my working leg and I'm actually gonna point my other leg too. And you can put your forehead on the floor or on your hands. Relax the upper body. Option to hold it or rest it. I'm gonna hold it. You have something shaking, right? See how this is different. So we did bent knee. Now you're seeing we're doing straight leg. I'm gonna rest for a moment. Wiggle the hips. Round two, same leg, round two. All right, keep the tension. Doesn't have to be a big movement. Get length with that lift. Three seconds. Relax, all right, wiggle the hips here. Let them relax here. Keep the tension, have that abduction. We're going to the other side. Relax the upper body. Have a little lift in the leg and start to do your straight leg lift here. So when I'm creating these workouts, I'm thinking about, you know, directions that we go into, doing movements where we do straight, we do bent. Because we want to fire up different parts of that muscle, because it's not all or none. You gotta change the movement, change the tension, change the tempo. Option to hold. Ooh. This is where I'm breathing heavy, how about you? Relax. Did you, did you change your band though, Hannah? All right, here we go. Lift it. Carol, how are you doing, Carol? Come on, keep it lifted. You ever watch Carol in the workout? She's so graceful. Isn't she? She's so graceful. And she's great. She keeps her tempo, what Carol needs. She's not trying to be like crazy Michelle. <laughs> All right, we got five seconds. Then you're gonna quickly hop up. Let's see how fast Carol is. Oh, she was pretty fast. Pull it up to above your knees, so were you. Anna was the slow poke here. Take two steps here, so we're gonna have it right above the knees. Two steps, option to jump. Two steps, option, little jump. You don't have to jump. If you're jumping, maybe you feel like you kinda of do a little press the legs out. Whew. <laughs> nice lateral walk. All right, calf raises. Start them now. Relax the shoulders. We are using every second of this workout today, right? Keep going. So there's two different ways to work the calf. Standing leg and bent knee. We're just doing straight standing leg here. So another option would be to sit down and do calf raises. All right, just hold at the top. Can you find some balance? Hold. And then we have one more move. We're gonna monster walk. Woo! Relax for a second. Remember that monster walk in the beginning? Gets a little bit more gluteus maximus. So we sit in that squat. We're gonna take a few steps forward, and then take a few steps back. You can start already here, right? Walk it forward. Walk it back. Keeping tension the whole time. And then, hey, get the girls up. Lengthen through the torso. And then you're gonna stick around. 
because we got a leg burner for only five-ish minutes. Right, like the five-ish? This was nice and kind of easy. All right, relax, get rid of the band. Whew. All right, you made it this far. All right, you're not gonna stop now. We're gonna just take a quick sip of water, get ourselves ready, and we're getting ready for that leg burner. Five minutes, 45 seconds, leg burner. We're gonna start with squats. If you wanna take it up one level, you could throw on the booty band, you could throw on a dumbbell, you make the decision. We're not gonna use anything because we got another workout tomorrow, so you make that choice. Anybody throwing anything on? I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it raw. Anna's gonna go for it. <laughs> Get ready, 15 seconds. I'm gonna keep it simple. Squats. They're gonna be quick. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? So they're fast squats, you don't jump yet. So we're down and up for 30 seconds. Now, you have seen this leg burner before. It's always good to throw something back in to see if you've gotten stronger and see if you feel like you can make it through this two minute, actually five, sorry. <laughs> five minute leg burner. Two minutes, that would've been easy. Hold the squat, hold it. Okay, next move, I'm gonna show you real quick here. Squat, heels up. And I want you to feel like someone's slapping your booty. So you get a little jiggle there. Shows back, chest up, push the butt out. Ready, go. You almost feel like you're a poom, really lifting the heels, pushing the hips forward. I'm almost like bouncing on my toes and definitely my butt is bouncing. Come on, lift those calves up, those heels up. Eyes are lifted. Woo, come on. Three seconds, we hold it again. Hold it. Yeah. Anna's gonna tell you the band was a bad idea. But she did it, she made it this far. Yes. Now, next move, squat jumps. Are we ready? Level it up, squat jump. So we worked a lot of butt at the end of that workout. Now we're getting into those quads. But you gotta push through your heels. Engage the butt. This one I would definitely do without weights in my hands. I don't want that impact. Three seconds. Rest. Woo. Okay, come out of it. Take a breather. You have a little more time here. Get some water. You still have a little more time. I want the heart rate to come down, okay? I'm giving you 30 seconds. Woo. Deep breathe in. All right, feel the lungs up. 15 seconds. You have it. You can do this. First movement is that fast squat. Going in five seconds. You guys ready? Ready. Go. All right. You can do prisoner squats, hands by the ears. Sometimes it makes your posture better. Especially when we get tired, we get sloppy. Watch the knees, they track the toes. I like the prisoner squats, so they're making me push through my heels even more. And posture. Five seconds, don't give up. And we hold it. Hold it. All right. This is magic right here. When you feel something like you're like, holy cows, right? We're getting ready for that squat heel lift with a little bit of a bounce. In three, two, one, go. Again. You can try something different. Go for it, drop in your heels. Oh yeah, 
Get that breath going. Breath of fire is happening here. Five seconds, we hold. Hold it. Nice job. Come on. Bring the heat. Yeah, one last move. It's a yes I can. I'm gonna make it through this. I'm gonna feel amazing. We got that jump. Go. Doesn't matter how high you go. Even if you just lift a millimeter off that floor. Or you jump whew, as high as you can. Load those muscles. Oh, come on, legs. <laughs> Drop and push. Five seconds. You got this. Nice job. Woo. Oh, Anna. That's it. Nice job. Carol, nice job. Woo. That's it. Holy cows. She was worried that there was more. That is it. You guys did awesome. Thank you, Anna. We needed your energy today, right? Woo! Walk around, catch your breath. Did you want more? Oh, thank you. <gasps> no. Anna's face. No. That was priceless. All right. Okay. Those quads got a lot of fire. Let's stretch those quads. Let's stay in standing here because your heart rate is up. Let's pull this foot back. Find your heel or your shoe. You can do one hand or two. If you find like you're losing your balance, please hold on to something, right? Whew. Knee to knee. Try not to let the knee come forward. Try to bring it back a little bit to open up. Take that same leg, lunge it back. Be separated, push the heel back. Start with a straight leg, sink down. So it's a lunge with straight leg back there. Then if you want to watch your surface, you can bend the knee, I'm gonna come forward. Bend the knee, tuck the tailbone, give me side reach. Can do opposition here. You did amazing, that's, you know, we don't need much time, it's really, Getting yourself into that place where, oh my God, that's, that's the hardest that I can do for 30 seconds, Michelle, right? All right, let's release. Let's do the other leg. Cause you, you know, there's days you don't have an hour to work out. That's totally fine, I get it. But if you're only gonna work out for a short period of time, my God, I am gonna push you. Yes. <laughs> no, I, no excuses. And there are days when you do need a, a shorter workout, but you know, a slower pace is fine. Okay, that leg is gonna step back into that lunge. Keep it straight. Just dropping the hip a little bit here. And when you have the time to stretch, do it. I've been making sure I'm doing that. Some deep stretches. Okay, we're gonna take that knee to the ground. Make sure I'm on a surface. Tuck a little bit under. Reach an opposition. And when we have a good range of motion, we are gonna stimulate more fibers of that muscle. And longevity, right? As you get older, you don't wanna be walking around with a cane or great release. Bring it in, wide straddle, a cane or a walker, right? Let's just drop it down. But you know, when you're at Anna's age, you're not usually thinking of that. When you're getting into your 40s and 50s, you start thinking about that stuff. Are you really, are you thinking about it, Anna? You know what, the day I turned 30, I was like, oh man. Who is 30? 30. <laughs> yeah. 30 is a change. Oh. Oh, take, take a few deep breaths here. Grab a hold of one of your legs. I'm gonna go to my left leg, which could be your right, bending. The other leg a little bit here to get deeper. A little back. And then switch it. Back to the straddle. And then you're gonna bring those legs inward. Drop into a ball. So let your butt drop to your heels. Hug in those knees with your biceps. And then drop your forehead down.
Gonna lower the heels, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take a big inhale, reach it out, reach it up. Pull it into your heart. One more time for gratitude. What are you grateful for today? Awesome job, grateful to you. Grateful for these ladies coming over. Woo. Nice job, great job, great job, Carol. Great job to you. Hey, do make sure you're following me on Instagram and on Facebook. And then we've got always check out, there's a calendar every month that comes out. So if you need more accountability, and I do only upload twice a week, you can get that calendar. The link is below, it is for sale, so it does help support this channel. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, because all that helps me to keep creating free content for you guys. Have an awesome day, take care. Caution, content's hot. You get to give me all you got.